Hello everyone, my name is Sachin Raj Parmar and I am from Sri Vaishnu Institute of Forensic Science in Dhor. So in this video, today we are going to discuss about facial thermography. So let's get started. So before going to the our main topic facial thermography, we will discuss a little about the biometric definition. So what is biometric? So it is defined as the automated method of identifying and authentication of an individual based on his or her physiological and behavioral characteristics. And biometric is a technology used for measuring and analyzing a person's unique characteristics. And there are two types of biometric, which is behavioral and physical biometric characteristics. And behavioral biometric is a generally used for verification, and while physiological biometric is generally used for uh, identification and verification. So this is the biometric basic definitions and all about. So let's next move on to the next slide. So here's the facial thermography slide. So facial thermography uses human blood vessels and it detects heat patterns created by the branching of blood vessels and emitted from the skin. And these patterns called thermograms and are highly distinctive. And even some characteristics twins have a different thermogram and it was developed in mid-1990 by a Francis proboscis and thermography works much like a facial recognition and except that an infrared camera is used to capture the images. So this is the basic of uh, facial thermography here. So thermography makes use of infrared spectral band of the electromagnetic spectrum. So it involves uh, there are four types of IR radiations, near infrared, middle infrared, far infrared and extreme infrared. So infrared video cameras are passive, emits no energy but merely collect the thermal radiation emitted from the surface of human faces. And IR cameras don't see temperature and the cameras capture the radiosity of the target it is viewing. So what is radiosity? It is defined as the infrared energy coming from the target modulated by intervening atmosphere and constant of emitted, reflected and sometimes transmitted IR energy. So this was the basics of thermography and next is thermal imaging. The thermal imaging can be seen as a method of improving visibility of object in dark environment by detecting the object infrared radiations and creating an image based on that infrared. So here is the explanation. So all objects emit infrared energy heat as a function of their temperature. A thermal camera's imagery is essentially is a heat sensor that is capable of detecting teeny differences in temperature. And the device collects the infrared radiation from object in scene and creates an electronic image based on the information about the temperature differences. And thermal images are normally grayscale in nature, black objects are cold while white objects are hot and depth of gray variation between the two thermal cameras. So this is the thermal imaging. So ne next move to the next, next slide. This is the recognition system of facial thermography. So there are certain features and the feature of the recognition systems are the fully automatic operation, use of global facial feature, requirements of sample, dealing with different poses and scales and real-time implementation and operating in the condition that people move naturally in front of an IR camera without strict constraint. So this is the recognition system and now uh, this is the program of uh, block diagram of recognition system here. So first of all we will discuss about image acquisition. In this step we acquired the good uh, quality of image from the input data and from the individual. Uh, we assured that mm, this uh, data should be good in quality and in second step the quality evolution. The quality of data evaluated by this step and the next third step is face detection. In this step we detect the facial characteristics of individual and fourth step is normalization. We normalize the input data and the sixth one step is uh, feature extraction. We extract the particular feature that we want to require to identify and verifying an individual. And last one is a classifier which we classify the characteristics and uh, uh, and compare with a template. 
so this, this is the recognition system and then let's move to the next slide this is the working module of thermography so the work consists of three major modules collection of MWIR imager mid wavelength infrared imager and the feature extraction and feature matching so in each of these modules different instructive steps and safeguards starting from camera calibration to facial thermal signature extraction are taken to ensure that authentication is made through feature that are cons consistent through a several image acquisition time and are therefore more likely to be part of the vasculature of the individual so uh, next is the modules diagram the block diagram of working module you can see this so first, uh, in first step, the data collection. In data collection step, uh, we use uh, Marlin MWIR camera. And in this, in second step, we recruited 13 volunteers as a sample and capture the frontal image of each subject. And next step is thermal infrared image registration. We use the FLIRT tool for image registration we are using uh, FLRT tool for image registration and register the last three thermal image for fit thermal image. And the third step is generation of thermal signature. We generate the signature. So in these steps, there are four uh, four uh, segments. We uh, first of all we about talk about face segmentation. In this, uh, we segment the face their features. And uh, second is nose removal. We removal. We, we remove the unnecessary noise from the background and image morphology and last one is for post processing and next is the thermal infrared template generation in this we generate a template uh, so in this uh, we add a four signature and diffuse using a anisotropic diffusion filter there is a filter diffusion filter and third one is the skeletonize to obtain template uh, we skeletonize the particular image uh, to obtain template and last one is template and signature matching we are matching the template and signature so in this uh, we register signature to template using FLRT tool and use a distance based similarity measure to match register signature to template and template to template so friend this is the working module of facial thermography so now uh, we are discussing about the application of facial thermography so what is the application? So there are some important applications which are discussed below. So thermography is particularly useful to military and other users of surveillance cameras and condition monitoring digital infrared thermal imaging in healthcare and medical imaging, infrared mammography, night vision and UV surveillance, stereo vision, process control and uh, non-restricting testing, surveillance and security, law enforcement and uh, and defense and chemical imaging volcanology in face recognition system thermal images are used because face detection location and segmentation are easier when using thermal images and work even in dark total darkness and useful for detecting disguiser and nearly invariant to illumination changes and facial expression so this is the application so let's move on to the next slide here is the disadvantages of facial thermography so first we discussed uh, identical twins uh, uh, identical twins have a some different thermal patterns and there are exception two because they are different from uh, each other exhale and inhale effect uh, high temporal frequency thermal variation is associated with the breathing and the nose and mouth appears cooler as the subject is inhaling and warmer as he and see exhale and sees since exhaled air is at cold temperature and which is several degree warmer than skin temperature so third point is the metabolism effect so what is the metabolism effect on facial thermography so symptoms such as alertness and anxiety can be used as a biometric and which is difficult to conceal and which is difficult to conceal as a redistribution of blood flow in blood vessels causes abrupt changes in the facial skin temperature and thermal signature can be changed significantly according to different body temperature caused by a physical exercise and ambient temperature and fourth one is effect of using glasses and thermal images of subject wearing eye glasses may lose information around the eyes since glass uh, block a large portion of thermal energy 
so this was the disadvantages of facial thermography so let's move to the next slide uh, here is the limitations of facial thermography so two thermal images have found to be useful in accurate recognition of human face but so there are some limitations of them too so redistribution of blood vessels and blood flow due to alertness and anxiety causes abrupt changes in the local skin temperature and thermal calibration is a mandatory when ambient temperature or activity level may change thermal characteristics and energetic physical activities consumption of food alcohol caffeine etc may also affect the thermal characteristics and while breathing exhaling result big changes in skin temperature and glass block most of the thermal energies and not appropriate for recognition of vehicle occupants because of speed and glass and thermal images have a low resolution and thermal cameras are expensive so this was all about the facial thermography so thank you so much friends and i hope you will learn something from this video and if you like this video please share and subscribe this channel thank you so much